Welcome to the second episode of Corkscrew Showdown. Last time we went over the True Tap waiter style corkscrew, which did pretty well. And today I'm going to go over a pretty radically different corkscrew. So this is the air pressure wine bottle opener, which technically isn't really a corkscrew, but I'm just going to kind of do all bottle openers in this series. This thing comes as a five piece set. And the main element of it, of course, is this crazy uh, kind of syringe looking pressure generator thing here. So this kind of looks like a like a surgical device and it, it has something like what you'd use to pump up a basketball but with an extra sharp needle on the end of it um, to basically pressurize the bottle and blow the cork off like it's a champagne bottle. Uh, and it also has a little cork remover right here. Uh, in the kit you also get this uh, foil cutter uh, aerator, like a pouring style aerator, and a little vacuum pump uh, slash wine topper, which is actually maybe one of my favorite things about this little five piece set. And after I review this, I'll post another video uh, where I'll actually do a giveaway for this thing. So if you're interested in having one of these, watch my giveaway video and um, you'll have a probably a pretty good chance to win this little guy. So we'll just do the standard thing here and rate it on the uh, seven different things that I rate it on. And before we can do that though, we got to give it a try on some bottles and just see exactly how it does. So I have my three bottles here that I've just filled with water and corked. And I'm just going to do my thing here where I set my corkscrew down and then I'll run through the bottles and we'll time it and I'm not going to do anything too fast just kind of how I might plan to use it uh, if I was planning to open a bottle with this opener. So here we go. goes. Feel it start going. And it seems like once it starts going you can kind of just uh, wiggle it a little and it'll come right out. Sounds just like a bottle of champagne opening. There it goes. So my thoughts are the best strategy might be to kind of pump it until it sort of starts to pressurize and then let it wiggle its way out. Alright, so it's definitely an exciting way to open a bottle compared to a normal corkscrew. And then we'll just kind of go through the review here. So the first thing I rate it on is speed. And I would say it's, again, it's about average on speed. You can get faster corkscrews like the lever operated and thing, but usually, usually the faster corkscrews come with the price that they're just generally very, very large and not portable. So I'd say it's about average on speed, and uh, I'll give it basically what I gave the waiter's corkscrew, which is about a six. Um, in terms of how easy is it to use, uh, it's pretty easy again, I would say, again, probably along the lines of a waiter's corkscrew, um, to press the needle in really takes very little effort and to, uh, to pump, to pump it up is 
pretty easy for probably the first two thirds of the way, and then you pumps a little bit hard, kind of similar to like a bicycle pump. So I'll give that about a mm, seven out of ten for how easy. Uh, portability for this corkscrew. It's not probably one that I would want to stick in my pocket, given that it has a needle, um, but it's not very big. So if I were to, you know, take this with me somewhere, I probably would bring it in the box that it came in. Uh, something that might be nice for, for sipping it to include in this might be some sort of um, guard or something on the end so that you could just kind of throw this in your bag or something without any fear that either you're going to bend the needle or that you're going to, um, you know, spear something with it. So portability, I will give it about a 6 out of 10. Um, reliability, I don't really see too many issues as far as reliability. It seems like it doesn't seem to have any trouble popping the cork off. Um, so I'll probably give that about a, like a 9 out of 10 in terms of reliability. And durability, again, I mean this thing's actually built out of aluminum, which is cool. Uh, the needle appears to be steel. I don't see it really dulling or anything. I could see that if you just kind of chuck this somewhere, there could be a chance that you could bend the needle. So that would probably be the only real way I would ding it in terms of reliability. Uh, so reliability, I would give the sipping it uh, pressure cork opener uh, probably about um, a seven. Uh, and or for durability, sorry. And then as far as cool factor, I would say that's probably where this. Uh, bottle opener really wins. Um, it's probably kind of what it's meant to do is be like the cool conversation piece of a bottle opener and bottle open a bottle with some style and some uh, flamboyance or whatever you want to say. Um, so in terms of cool factor, I doubt you're going to find a lot of people that have a opener like this. I'll probably give it about a nine on cool factor. Um, overall, I would say, I would say this is probably about a 7.5 overall score. And in my overall score, I'm factoring in price too. So this, um, five piece set is $20, which I think is fair being that it's a five piece set. I would probably value the actual, um, syringe style corkscrew at you know, twelve or thirteen dollars. Um, the pour, the wine pour, is actually really, really handy to have. And the wine topper, like I said, is probably my favorite part in the whole box um, because I've actually never seen a topper like this that uses a vacuum to to suck the air out. I've seen the ones that use the large separate pumps, but this is all kind of integrated in one. Um, and then of course the foil cutter. So I think um, $20 is a really fair price for the corkscrew. So again, I think it's a pretty pretty good overall, just a good value. Um, so like I said, I will be giving one of these away, the five piece set. So keep your eyes peeled and I'll throw a video up uh, to give this thing away. Thanks for watching.